years and two years' time, we will celebrate the centenary of the Easter Rising. And that will be a further opportunity to build a popular national consciousness on the true values of the proclamation and to encourage Irish citizens and the Irish diaspora to reclaim the spirit of 1916. And this work needs to begin now with other nicely minded organisations and citizens. We should be popularising uh, the relevance, relevance of the proclamation's ideals for modern day Ireland with innovative strategies which reach into every community through the media, through drama, art, cultural expression, the Irish language and much more. And as, of course, as Bobby Sands rightly observed, everyone has a part to play. Politics in this island has been transformed in recent years. Today, the north of Ireland is a different place to 40 or even 20 or 10 years ago. And nobody should be under any illusion, but the engine for that change is the Republican peace strategy. I am very proud to be among a group of five Sinn Féin ministers in the north. The first elected representatives of our community who have had real power. For 50 years, the northern state was a single party uh, government. Unionism held everything to itself. And as Tom Pollan in his famous poem uh, rightly said that the only real re legislation that elected representatives during the course of a unionist dominated Stormont could get passed with the White Birds Act. Well, things are different now, and they're different because we are stronger, because people understand the power of their vote, and because people demand change.